If you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you'll know that about 40% of my videos have to do with ricing. And while that number may be a little bit of exaggerating, I have done many ricing videos over the course of the last eight months. And the reason behind that is that I really truly do enjoy going through and changing my window managers to different color schemes and different layouts and everything about racing just makes me happy on the inside and if i took that out of my life i probably wouldn't be as happy and i think that that's the way for a lot of people but there ha has been some backlash against these videos and against other people who enjoy racing and people have just been asking is racing worth it is racing a good idea? Is racing a waste of time? So I thought I would do a short video on that topic and try to answer some of those questions. So is racing a waste of time? The answer to that is unquestionably yes, it can be. And the question then becomes of when does it transition from a good use of your time to a, you know, a waste of time? And the answer to that question is going to very much depend on how much you rice. Uh, if you are just installing a window manager and you just go through and give it a color scheme and, and then go about your day, that's not a waste of time. That's just customizing your environment to look the way you want it to look. If you're like me and rice things a lot and go through and rice multiple window managers, change them once or twice a month, then yes, it's a waste of time. And... It becomes addictive. I'm 100% able to admit that I'm addicted to ricing and that I could use the time I spend ricing doing other things that would be both monetarily productive and just rewarding in other ways. But I like ricing. So that's the argument I have against the whole I don't care if it's a waste of time because I enjoy doing it. And I think that as long as you're willing to admit to yourself that it's a waste of time, that you're just doing it because it's something that you enjoy, it's okay. So those people who ask, is racing a waste of time? You have a point. Congratulations. Uh, you can go about using your window managers with the default themes all you want. I'm going to continue to rice my window managers and desktop environments as many times as I want to. Uh, as long as I'm honest with myself that I realize that it is a waste of time, I think that's okay. Now, the question of whether or not ricing is bad for you is another question altogether. Because really depends on if you would actually go through and use that time more productively for something that actually matters. And in my case, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably end up doing something stupid like watching a YouTube video or something like that. So uh, for me, if I choose to do a rice on my system that's actually probably going to be more productive than I otherwise would be because I have a tendency to waste a lot of time doing things that are even less productive than ricing. So in terms of ricing being bad for you, I don't... It depends. It's not one of those things you really have to use your own judgment on whether or not you have that time to dedicate to changing your color scheme as many times as you want to. Now... The thing I really want to talk about is my addiction with ricing, because I do have one. I visit Unix porn at least once a day. I have the Unix porn Discord server in Discord open at least once a day, usually two or three times a day. And I like going over other people's rices. I often go through and actually find their dot files and install their dot files on my system just to play around with the rice. And the thing is, ricing is stupid. Really, in terms of the way I do it and looking at other people's stuff, it, it is, it's dumb and a waste of time because really there are only so many ways you can make a window manager look. Really, all that changes is the color scheme. And if you go to r slash Unix porn, you'll notice that there are only like five color schemes that people use. There's Grubbox, Dracula, One Dark, uh, Solarized, Nord is another big one. You know, there's like five or six that are just. That's all they use. And every once in a while, you'll come across someone who has come up with a color scheme all on their own and isn't basing it on somebody else. But that is very, very rare. The vast majority of people who do ricing are just using those five or six color schemes. 
And if you're talking about people who are rising desktop environments, chances are if you're rising a desktop environment and it's KDE, you're going to make your system look like a Mac. That's the rice. I mean, this, if you go to r slash Unix porn again, that's pretty much all you'll see in terms of plasma rices is that they make it look like a Macintosh. And there's nothing wrong with that. It, uh, my Mac system would look like t that too if I'd gone through and spent time actually ricing it. Let's admit it. Apple makes some beautiful software. But this addiction that I have with ricing and paying attention to other people's ricing is probably the dumbest part of my life. Because it is there and it does exist and I don't know if I want to get rid of it. I can at least admit to myself that ricing in general and my addiction with ricing isn't necessarily the most healthy choice I can make, mainly because it doesn't make any sense, right? It's These rices all look the same after you get down to it. They all, There's not that much different to the rices, so there's no reason for me to go back and check r slash Unix porn twice a day because they all look the same. It's be like constantly checking your bank account to see if there's more money there there's not going to be any more money there. It's going to be the same as it was when you checked it a couple hours ago. You know, that would be a silly obsession to have. And it's the same thing with rising. It's a silly obsession. Now, the question is whether or not I'm going to change. And the answer to that is probably not. I enjoy rising my system. I enjoy going to look at other people's rices, even if they are all the same. Because every once in a while, you'll find a gem. And I don't want to miss out on that. That's really cool, right? So... If you're a ricer like me, as long as you understand the downfall of ricing versus what you could have otherwise been doing, I think rice all you want. That's what I'm going to do. If you're against ricing, don't rice. That's the thing about Linux. It's the, the, the greatest thing that you can do with your life is do what you want to do. And I happen to want to rice, so don't at me, as they say. So anyways... That's the end of the, the rant, end of the video. If you want to follow me, you can do so at the Linux cast. I tweet about Linux and about ricing a lot. Uh, I've also been tweeting about my experiences with the Colmec keyboard layout. I will be making a video about that uh, in a couple months, but I don't want to make a video about that until I actually have stuck with it more than three days. So uh, if you are interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you follow me on Twitter. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All that stuff. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Marcus, Maglin, Sven, East Coast Web, Donnie, Chris, Kell of Devils, which is a new patron. Uh, Mitchell, Mr. Fox, American Camp. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.